Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm bored and all jacked up on Adderall, I tend to start rumors about celebrities by getting on TikTok and making viral videos. As niche and specific of an activity as this may be, it seems I'm not alone, as everyone's favorite influencer, Ava Louise, who's also known as the girl who tried to start the coronavirus challenge, did the exact same thing. And now that her rumor blew way out of proportion and things are spiraling out of control, well, she admitted that it was all fake. Of course, to no surprise, Kris Jenner also apparently sent a letter to Louise's management team, pretty much threatening a lawsuit if she doesn't stop spreading lies. Talk about a fun way to start 2021, am I right? Before we get into things, guys, make sure you smash the like button or I'll start spreading lies about you. And you don't, you don't want that. Hey, you. I heard, uh, heard you paid 10 bucks for, uh, for something you shouldn't pay 10 bucks for. So you've likely heard about these claims that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting divorced after seven years of marriage and four kids together. To no surprise, as is usually the case with public celebrity breakups, there have been tons of rumors, headlines, and anonymous sources claiming things that, well, no one can 100% confirm. Just gotta take their word for it, I guess. Even as of today, just an hour ago, People Magazine released an article claiming that Kim Kardashian, I quote, is over Kanye West's chaos, says source. They are not on the same page. But who is this source? Could it possibly be Kris Jenner? Who's been given the name Momager for being both the mother and manager of the Kardashian and Jenner clan? I mean, as I always say, Kris is the one who released that tape of Kim and her ex-boyfriend Ray J that was leaked to the media. Keyword being leaked. It wasn't. Chris apparently orchestrated the whole thing from setting everything up behind the scenes to the untimely and unexpected release of the tape. Again, keyword being unexpected. They knew it was gonna happen. At the end of the day, Jenner is a businesswoman and she knows how to get people talking. The more people talk, the more your value and brand increases. And as we know, that only means more money in your pockets. Obviously the family cracked the code because they've only continued to add to their net worth of hundreds of millions, possibly even billions of dollars over the years. And you'd think another scandal to continue people talking, especially with these divorce rumors circulating, Chris would totally be on board with the idea that Kanye and Kim are getting a divorce because of a cheating scandal. But not only that, it would also be revealed that Kanye was hooking up with a massive male beauty YouTuber. I mean, things just get juicier and juicier as we go on here, guys. I'm starting to think Chris was behind this whole situation as well. But apparently she's not on board at all and actually sent a cease and desist letter to Ava Louise, who is the one responsible for the rumor of Jeffrey and Kanye hooking up in the first place. Keyword, it was a rumor. It all seemed to have started when Louise made a TikTok video posting images of headlines from page six claiming Kim and Kanye were divorcing. The video was captioned, I quote, I can't say who, cause he'll sue me, hint hint, but it's part of the reason Kanye is so religious now. It's his self-hatred. My source is legit, I promise. In the video itself, Ava starts by saying now that Kim has officially filed for divorce, she could spill the tea she's been holding onto for months. Oh, spill it girl, we wanna know. I quote her saying in the video, this whole divorce comes as no surprise. Kanye has been hooking up with a very well-known famous beauty guru, male beauty guru. A lot of people in the scene have known for a while. Girl, that ain't no tea, but just a bunch of bull. Either way, Ava's video started to blow up, and as people commented guessing who this male beauty guru is, Ava started adding fuel to the fire. Every comment that asked, is it Jeffree Star, got a like from Ava. Seems like we're onto something here, folks. Ava would then spend the next few days making a handful of TikToks, each surpassing at least one million views pertaining to the situation at hand. Jeffree Star played into the rumors as well, posting a photo to his social media with the caption, ready for Sunday service. Aside from that, as we know, Kanye has a ranch in Wyoming where he lives, and Jeffree recently moved there. This was just all too perfect to not become a rumor, right? And the fact that even Star played into it a bit with his post about the Sunday service. I mean, people were absolutely losing their minds. Could it be true? Why didn't Kim or Kanye speak about it? Why didn't Jeffrey? And then why did he post that photo with the caption? I'll tell you why. Because just like Ava, Jeffrey too understands given their line of work, the more people talk about you, the more your value goes up. And Jeffrey isn't a stranger to controversy and getting people talking. So that's exactly what he did. And then he released a 20 minute YouTube video explaining why he moved to Wyoming and denied all the claims regarding him and Kanye. After making about 10 videos regarding the situation, Ava Louise then posted another TikTok, which included a voice note she sent to a friend. After claiming that she was sent a letter from Kris Jenner, that Kim would potentially be suing her, and God knows what else this girl said in her many TikTok videos, Louise shared the text convo, which also had a voice note. The voice note, which was sent from Ava, says, I quote, I'm not even getting sued. I made this entire scandal up. There's literally not one bit of truth to anything I have said. I just tricked the entire world into talking about me again because I was on a lot of Adderall and bored. In the video, Ava then puts the camera on herself and says, and that's on being an icon. We all had fun, didn't we? You're welcome for the memes. She also gave a little kiss. Like, yeah, 
I mean, my kiss is better. But. Of course, people were quick to call her out, citing that not only is the family dealing with potential divorce, but they have kids who would have been dealing with the rumor of this as well. Ava was quick to respond, citing some of Kanye's past rants and Kim's history, including the one where Kanye admitted to almost preventing the birth of their first child and Kim's tape with Ray J. Still, people likely aren't too fond of Louise, who first went viral back in March for licking a toilet seat, claiming she wanted to start the coronavirus challenge. Aside from that, a rep for Kris Jenner told TMZ, I quote, We have zero clue who this person is and have not yet taken legal action. However, if she continues to spread lie after lie and a fake letter in a desperate cry for public attention, which she has admitted on record that she's seeking, then we will have no choice but to take legal action on principle. Making up fake stories in an effort to monetize and get attention which has a direct effect on people's lives is not okay. Perhaps she should spend that time instead seeking the help that she clearly needs to deal with her issues. Boom. Case closed. Ava claims to have made about 15,000 bucks from this whole ordeal, but are we just going to take her word for it? The girl who's claiming she made 15 grand for making up a rumor about three celebrities she doesn't know, which also happened to include a false lawsuit? I don't know guys, my gut is telling me there's something about this girl we just can't trust. As always, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. Nikita Dragon exposed for pandemic party. Sweetie Kitty Danny said, I'm not saying all influencers are, but most are spoiled AF and it shows. I'm gonna say it's not even just like an influencer, I'm gonna say it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna use the word spoiled, I just wanna say a lot of people with money, with wealth, feel that they could just do things I don't want to say feel because they can. They can just do things that average people can't because they have the money. And it's a sad reality of life, but that's just the way it works. Christine V said, we should have just banned TikTok when we had the chance. See, I disagree. At first I hated it and I've been on it a little bit and now it's grown on me. It's actually kind of, there's a lot of very funny creative people out there, guys. Give it a chance. There's a lot of funny people out there. Jay Marshall said, let's face it, the rules don't seem to matter or pertain to anyone with enough money and clout. That's the point I was trying to make, Jay Marshall. You got it right on the head, man. That's it. Look. People think Donald Trump's going to jail. I'll say right now on camera, no shot he's going to jail. Like he's gonna be acquitted of everything. One way or another, his lawyers are gonna find a way to get him off. When you have that much money, somehow, some way, you could just do no wrong all the time. That's just how it goes. So that's your friendly reminder, guys. Make a lot of money so you can break the law. Just kidding. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, guys. Keep been watching IO, and we'll see you soon. Bye.